Good morning guys, welcome to Sunday. My hair is a mess and I've been up early uh, doing chores and we woke up to beautiful snow this morning. Just in time for Christmas. But it's raining now so it'll probably be gone just before Christmas and we'll have no snow left. Because it's raining outside and it's snowing out, well it's snow and then rain, I decided to feed the ponies out in the inside the barn. Hey kitty, you come to see me? Yeah, come on, you can come see me. And look at this, and he's coming up to me. And I bunch of carrots and I forgot to bring them. I forgot to bring them, Penny. I forgot to bring your carrots. Anyways, I was do I just finished up chores and I just have the shavings to put in and I forgot all the shavings in the van up by the house, so I had to uh Bring it down, and I also forgot the camera this morning. That's why you didn't get to see the horses in the morning. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Don't mind the morning hair. Today is my cleaning day. Oh, you guys, look at what's happening outside. I hate when that happens. Do you guys see? Penny and Willow are in it to win it. Willow is kicking Penny's butt. Maybe they're done now. Sam, can you run down and throw them more hay? Gracie's way in the back. She'd be like, I'm not participating in this. Gracie's like me. When things get ugly, get out. Get out fast. I swear they're making friends though. There they go. This has been going on for the last 10 minutes. Sam's gone down to give them a little bit of hay. It makes me nervous. Wouldn't you have a horse that dies after running crazy in the field? It makes you so nervous. And a little bit of hay goes a long way to create peace in the paddock, you guys. It's unusual for them to be messing around in the paddock. I don't know if you can tell, but Penny is not the messing around kind. She doesn't like to be running. She does not like to run, my girl. I don't know what happened. All I know is that on my hourly check, I looked out and Willow was telling Penny off. And Gracie was running for cover. Sam's down there now. You can see Penny going in for food. Gracie's coming back. She's like, I can handle it now. Good girl, Gracie. You run away. You run away, sister. No need for drama. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Sunday. Today is an event-filled day because today is four days before our Christmas celebration. This year, we're doing, and like every year, we do our family celebration on Christmas Eve. Santa comes on Christmas Day, but our family, all of my kids, come on Christmas Eve. So, the Christmas Day, we can relax. Yeah, and Christmas Day, I'm going to cook a turkey, and we're going to open all of our presents. I'm super excited. Um, but on Christmas Eve, in four days, my grandkids are all coming. We're going to have a big meal, and we're going to celebrate in Ontario right now. We're allowed 10 people inside, and we have stuck to that. We're going to have 10 people. We're going to, some of our family are going to wear masks, and we're going to be super careful, as careful as we can be. And we're super grateful that we're even able to see anybody at all this year on Christmas because I know for some of you guys in other countries, that has not been a possibility. Sophie, everybody wants to know, are you going to be brushing your hair today? How come? Because I'm having a bath tonight and I don't want to. When we decided to buy horses for our kids, so many people said, Laura, don't do it. Don't do it. They're just in a riding stage. They're just in a riding phase. And yeah, that could be true for a lot of kids. But let me tell you, today I told Gabby, and every day that I tell Gabby, do you want to not ride today? Let's not ride today. Let's take a break today. Nope, there are no breaks for that girl. That girl is upstairs getting ready for her ride. She's riding Chino today. She sticks to the schedule. I set the schedule and I should have known that the girl never, ever gives up. She always wants to ride. She is up for any kind of riding. So, oh my gosh, there's a ton of snow out there. It snowed. When did the snow come? This sneaky girl. Look at this sneaky girl. She knows how to get up on the couch. She just cuddles with somebody. You are a sneaky girl. She's like, yeah. What do you want to say about it? Such a sneaky girl. Anyway, welcome to today. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It is a dark and dreary, snowy day. How bad was the snow, Sam? Not that bad. Do you know why the horses were fighting? Nope. No. Oh. Frisky. In the snow. Frisky because of the weather, for sure. Okay. Who are you riding today, Gabby? 
Chino. Chino Bambino. She's got all her gray outfit oh, on gloves. to match the weather. Hi right, guys, we are at the barn and I changed blankets because it's warm out there now. Blankets is a terrible thing to do. We have to take them off, put them on, put we're different blankets on. It. Now we're putting on their Blanket? insulated rain sheets because it's going to be warm all week. Are they close? And the answer is no. Now we're on the hunt for the horses. All right, we found them. Gabby found Chino and Finn is just behind him somewhere. And Storm is there too and I can't get them both. So I'm going to bring Finn in first, change his blanket, then come out and get Storm. Finn. Finn. Alright, we got Finn and Chino. And they didn't really want to walk. It shouldn't be that bad. Hey Finn walking. <laughs> Finn was actually gonna Finn was actually gonna run away from me, but I caught him before he can run off. The hard part is coming back to get storm. I might just bring his blanket out and change it out in the field. And it's raining out. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's raining. See that? I'm a kind owner. Look, I'm letting you walk on the path and I'm walking on the crappy spots. <coughs> Montino, you're holding everything up. I did it, you guys. Chain Storm's blanket out in the field. But, oh, and it's not an easy feat when you have horses all around you trying to nibble on you. Hey Storm, I did it. I did it for you. Got this horse beside me and she just, I don't, just annoying. <laughs> Every time I try and change the blanket, he comes up to me. Anyways, let's go see what Gabby's doing. She should be ready to ride. Funny story. Laura just texted me and said, Gabby ate all the M&M's for my baking. I have no M&M's for baking. Tell her she has to go buy me a pack. So I told Gabby and and Gabby said, I don't bring my money. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because that's what she does all the time, right? She never brings her money. Always expects me to pay for it. Anyways, and then she said, so what did the chocolate stealer say? I said, the chocolate stealer said she didn't bring her money. <laughs> Well, I guess after this riding little lesson here, we'll be going to get some chocolate M&M's. See Chino's trace cut? Well, actually, it doesn't look too bad. I thought you did a bad job, but it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, really bad. That's the bad part? The neck? Yeah, this part. The neck, and then the shoulder part. Still, it looks pretty good. Okay. Now, if you paint it... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. What did you do if you painted it? All white or something or blue. Hey, Chino, your feet still sore? We well, got to get some exercise in, so. A little bit. So Gabby says she's Chino still sore. Stop, Chino. Itchy. <laughs> so Gabby says Chino still sore, so he acts lame in one spot on the rail. So he's gone to get his boots and he's going to put his boots on and exercise them with that and see how that goes. Alright, so Chino's got the boots on and we'll see how he does now. Honestly, when are they going to develop a, a robotic horse that you can just ride? It must be easy to make. A little bit better. Gabby says he's a little bit better and there's a little bit of a difference. So maybe his feet are still too sore.
feet are still really sore. Was he doing better with his boots? Yeah. Wow. His feet still sore. Great. Well, Gabby's also <laughs> trying to... Yeah, do you regret not keeping his shoes on? Huh? Would you rather have had his shoes on? Yeah. Yep, yeah, now she decides that she wants her shoes on. That would have been better. But Gabby's trying to, at the same time, uh, go from a canter by not kissing. Usually we kiss when we try and get the horse to canter. But she's going to try and practice. She's practicing with Chino to go with just her leg. And I have no idea what, how she does it with her leg, but maybe I'll ask her. How do you make him go to a canter with just your leg? So you squeeze with both legs and then you add your leg that's closest to no, the wall. You add your leg that's closest to the wall back and you squeeze with both of your legs. The other one slides forward a little bit more. Yeah. And that means canter? Yeah. Oh, weird. Did you learn that, you know? I knew yeah. how to do it, but then I kissed too much and now he's waiting for a kiss. Oh. Alright. Before, whenever you used to pet him, while he was working, he thought it was a walk. And then whenever you were like, he would stop right away. But he was saying this is his worst direction, so it was harder for him to go off the leg in the canter this way. Does that make sense at all? Today is the fact that Sam is the fact that Sam took over Gabby's Sunday rides. He's able to take her to the barn and let her do her thing. Okay. And it gives me one day every single week where I can do all the things that I don't get a chance to do during the week, like baking. I, I made them all by myself. Yeah, Sophie made them peanut butter and M&M cookies. Sam did get a little burnt something. I was able to get a nice supper, a good supper on. We have Brussels sprouts and then we have ribs in the oven. Just in case you're wondering. Yes, it's true. Gabby is cuddling Sophie's puppy. She waits. Yeah, I know. That happens to me too. I always let her up on the couch because I always get so cold and she always makes me warm. And Gabby's puppy is waiting. She thinks it's time to go feed the horses, which it almost is. I was able to clean at Gabby's room. It almost looks empty because she asked for a TV for Christmas. She asked for a TV for Christmas. There's a possibility that that could happen. So I wanted her room to be already and clean and perfect and ready for Christmas morning. Same as Sophie. Sophie asked for a TV for Christmas. So we spent the whole day or half the day cleaning her room. Her room is always a mess. Comment below what you spend your Sunday doing. I also was able to clean my bedroom and just get a lot of things done. That was a many miracle. That was a huge miracle. That was a glorious day because Sam works every single day this week. Don't you know that you're beautiful?